All right, hi, and welcome to our one to last um, video for the restaurant diorama for the Blender Basics. Go away. All right, sorry, that's my cat. Um, yeah, uh, let's work on uh, render settings. So let's go to rendering engine scene. We're going to go with cycles. Um, it's just going to make it look a lot crispier, but it's going to take a little more rendering power. So, And with Eve, it's it just pops, but it's a little more cartoonish. Um, yeah. Let's see. Um, all right. If we select this and then put smooth, all right. Yeah. That's pretty nice. All right. Yeah. Yeah, we can also do that. <laughs> I forgot about that uh so yeah okay so that totally looks a little better uh but that's honestly up to you all right so go to back to render all right go over there uh go to cycles and we're gonna go with cycles um go down to color management rsgb is fine we're gonna go with standard uh, that just makes the color pop as you can see so filmic and then standard who that pops all right um, oh when you're in cycles like you see this over here uh, this material if you change it up now you'll be able to see the things Go over there. All right. Sorry about that. Again, um, we can make some changes and see a better reflection, a mirror uh, roughness. I think we wanted it to be more mirror-like, so we decreased it. And yeah, that works like that. Nice. And then this material, metallic, we're going down and we're going with decrease or increase roughness to make it a little shinier. Yeah, there's that sparkle. All right, nice. All right, not too bad. Um, all right. Uh, all right, let's continue. So again render scene cycles um, color management uh, transform for the view transform makes the colors pop more um, then we're gonna go over here to the scene format we're gonna do um, 1920 by 1080 is fine aspect ratio that's fine uh, we're gonna do frame rates 30 but honestly that doesn't matter for us uh, and then we're gonna do output so we're just gonna make uh, a PNG for this and temporary is fine it'll just put it here uh, and then post-processing leave that fine then go here for oh go back to render engine so we're gonna do we're gonna do denoise this is gonna take a little bit but it does make things a little smoother. Um, let's see. No, that's fine. Okay. Uh, four, four thousand. No, we we only really needed like five hundred to make it look decent. Uh, same thing over here. Denoise. All right, and then. Light pads, performance, auto attack, that's fine. Okay, uh, everything's good here. Hopefully, um, you kept what <laughs> you kept with up uh, up with those settings. Um, render engine cycles. Um, your max samples is five hundred. Your max samples is five hundred for render and sampling. Uh, you could even go as low as two hundred, and just so we can see, like a, a mm, no, just like a hundred. Yeah, so we can do this really fast. Um, 
sweet. Uh, again, color management, uh, RGB, standard. Um, this just makes things pop. Your scene, you're doing a temporary output, but you can put it anywhere else. We're doing a PNG. And that's, I think that's about it. Oh, uh, and your resolution is 1920 by 2480. Uh, 1080 but you can do like 4k uh, just got to switch that up right there all right sweet and then control save no oh yeah always save your scene um, so desktop we're just gonna make untitled it's fine um, right this is our light source and we can just have one light source and it lights up everything uh, if you want to don't want to use that kind of light source um, shift a we can do a light source like um, just on an area so s Let's see oh so it's yeah, okay seven top so it'll be right in between like this is the light bulb right then one up and then mess with the settings over here with this light and then increase the power see and then you should be able to get a better render like that because it feels like this is an actual restroom this is restroom lighting uh size no this is this is good okay uh cast shadow if we want shadows yeah if not we can take them off here multiple importance portal yeah and then spread oh okay so this is i guess if you're if you're outside but it doesn't really matter here but it does like direction oh what that is cool so like the lights on the top flickers i guess um the incandescent lights like those long ones like if you have um if you have one that hangs like low from the ceiling you can you can make those uh you can make those with this and it'll just brighten everything up except for like on top of it behind it yeah it's uh oh that's new uh, i'm learning things too all right sweet okay all right um i think that's pretty much it for render rendering and the lighting setup um you can mess around but this is one of the ways you can go about it um i'm just doing that spotlight or right let me see if i yeah, that, that area light uh, but it work it works here for us all right and then all we gotta do oh last thing sorry uh, press zero all right this is what's gonna get rendered this is not what we want rendered we want the entire scene to get rendered um, so we press zero again we wanna just focus on what's here but we also don't want to like show the empty space so shift a before we do anything else then mesh plane s go down all right s and then we're gonna do material for this one too but we're gonna do something a little different go down here to shade editor and then we're gonna delete this and do shift a search emission and we're gonna connect this here oh see it even pops more uh just so we have some something interesting in the back and then tab Edit mode, or we do is edge select. All 
then e y y all right and then we're selecting these three and doing control b and then control b this bevels uh smooth, smooth things out all right all right oh kind of gives off uh that clay animation kind of thing at the same time all right now let's render render all right so press n right here n and we can go to view lock camera press zero and then move the mouse around like a uh, middle mouse button and then move it around so that you can get a decent render of your scene get everything here angle as well that's not bad and again you can stop and do multiple renders you I'm just trying to pick out the best one right now for myself uh, then press zero again once you've selected what you want um, and then take this off uh, so nothing will change like even if you press zero again like it it'll snap out of it so it won't mess up what you've selected for your um, render then press render over here render image and now we just wait yeah 100 samples pretty fast uh, the more samples you have the better it's gonna look sometimes um, just really depends come on dun, dun, dun. And there we have it. Um, it's a little grainy. So yeah. Um, see? So you can always up the um, the samples, uh, denoise and stuff like that and make this look a lot better. Uh, but again, that's entirely up to you and what kind of quality you want. So um, please review this. Um, you know, hope the settings help you. Hope the lighting little explanation helped you and um, the camera thing too. You know, best of luck and thank you for listening to my ramblings. Yeah, <laughs> uh, best of luck.